name is Miss Kayla, and I am in college learning how to be a dental hygienist. A dental hygienist is somebody who cleans your teeth at the dentist's office and teaches you how to keep your teeth clean so that um, you don't get any cavities, okay? Uh, so I'm here today to read a book to you and show you how to brush your teeth. So I have this book. It's called The Tooth Book by Dr. Seuss. This is a great story. Who has teeth? Well, look around and you'll find out who. You'll find out that red-headed uncles do. Policemen do, and zebras too. And unicycle riders do. And camels and their drivers do. Even little girls named Ruthie all have teeth. All Ruths are toothy. Teeth. You find them everywhere. On mountain tops and in the air. And if you care to poke around, you'll even find them underground. You'll find them east, west, north, and south. You'll find them in a lion's mouth. Teeth, they're very much in style. They must be very much worthwhile. They come in handy when you chew, says Mr. Donald Discworld Drew. That's why my family grew a few. They come in handy when you smile, says Smiling Sam the Crocodile. They come in handy in my job says High Trapezer Mike McCobb. If I should ever lose a tooth, I'd lose my wife, and that's the truth. Teeth come in handy when you speak, says news broadcaster Quincy Queek. Without my teeth, I'd talk like ducks and only broadcast quacks and clucks. You're lucky that you have all your teeth, says a sad, sad snail named not Simon Smith. I don't have one. I can never smile like smiling Sam the Crocodile. Clams have no teeth, says Pam the Clam. I cannot eat hot dogs or ham. No teeth at all, says Pam the Clam. I cannot eat roast leg of lamb or peanuts, pizzas, popcorn, spam, not even huckleberry jam. Without teeth, we cannot play trombones, says jellyfish named Jumbo Jones. I have no teeth, says Hilda Hen, but women do, and so do men. So I have happy news for you. You'll grow two sets, set one and set two. You will lose set number one, and when you do, it's not much fun. But then you'll grow set number two. 32 teeth and all brand new. 16 downstairs and 16 more upstairs on the upper floor. And when you get your second set, that's all the teeth you'll ever get. So don't chew down trees like beavers do. If you try, you'll lose set number two. And don't be dumb like Mr. Glotz. Don't break your teeth untying knots. And don't be dumb like Caddy Clops. Don't try to chew off bottle tops. Don't gobble junk like Billy Billings. They say his teeth have 50 fillings. Whew. They sure are handy when you smile, so keep your teeth around a while. And never bite your dentist when he works inside your head. Your dentist is your teeth's best friend. Bite someone else instead, but not your dental hygienist either. <laughs> what a good book, right? Okay, I have my friend here. I think he's a crocodile or an alligator. If you see something silly about his teeth, What's silly, huh? Broken teeth, he's got a broken tooth right here and right here. 
You know how that happens? Well, there's lots of ways to break your teeth and it's not fun, it hurts. Some of the ways you can break your teeth are by chewing on really hard things like ice or popcorn seeds or pencils or anything that's not supposed to be chewed, okay? Another way that you can break your teeth like this is when you're playing sports and you take a ball to the face or you accidentally headbutt somebody else's head. Um, so it's really important for you to wear mouth guard when you're playing uh, very active sports. Okay, I've seen people lose their front teeth playing basketball before, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know how my friend here lost his teeth. Um, luckily, he probably didn't feel it, right? Next, I'm gonna show you how my friend here brushes his teeth and helps keep himself and his teeth clean. He uses one of these. Hopefully you know what this is. It's a toothbrush. I'm gonna show you what to do. With your toothbrush and your teeth, you are going to want to do it the same every time you brush so that it's, it's, it's stuck in your head, okay? Because you're gonna do it two times a day forever, okay? So you're gonna take your toothbrush and I recommend that you start in the back and you put your toothbrush in your cheek like this. He doesn't have a cheek, but let's pretend he does, okay? Put your toothbrush all the way in the back and feel it get to your back, back tooth, back here, okay? And you're gonna wanna go really slow, back and forth, or circles like this. Count to 10, okay? Then move up to your next tooth. Do the same thing, count to 10 here. And go all the way around the front, okay? It should take you almost a minute to get through the front, okay? That includes when you go on the inside. It is super important to make sure you don't forget to clean the inside of your teeth. That's this part in here and up front right here. And same thing over here, okay? Go really slow, not, not like this, okay? This is not the right way, okay? You're gonna wanna go and make sure you do your bottom teeth too. So after you get all the way around the front, and all the way around the inside on the top, go down to the bottom. Start in the back, inside your cheek, and feel those back teeth and the bristles of your toothbrush, brushing them clean, okay? Same thing, go really slow, count to 10. Move your toothbrush and just take it nice and easy, okay? You don't have to press too hard. All the way around. Don't forget to get the insides of your bottom teeth too. So you're gonna wanna Aim your toothbrush like this, okay? And when you come up to the front, don't forget right here. Really slow, okay? I think that you can do this yourself, okay? I have to show you another trick. Hopefully you know what this is. Ask your moms and dads if you can use some floss. This is very important. You're gonna twist the floss around one finger like this, okay? And then you're gonna get a space about this big, okay? Start all the way in the back, your last tooth in your mouth, and hug the floss to your tooth and go up and down. Whoop, up and down like this. Come out and let it come off this finger just a little bit and wrap it around the next, the other hand, okay? And go around the next tooth. Give the back one a hug, up and down. And then stay in there and give the tooth in front of it a hug. And go up and down like that. It's, it's kind of hard, but if you keep doing it, you can get really good at it. Okay? Hug this tooth up and down. I'm going to show you something. Does this look right? Can you go like this? Uh-uh because you're not hugging your teeth. It's really important that you hug your teeth with your floss, okay? This isn't right either. This, nope, that's not how you do it. You wanna get really close together with your fingers like this. Put it in, give your tooth a hug, and go up and down. Some of you might notice that your teeth bleed when you do this. And I wanna tell you something really important. 
It's okay if your teeth bleed. That is not a scary thing. Um, it's actually helping you clean your teeth. It's, it's, it's helping you get all those germs out of there. So the more you do it, next time it might not bleed. Eventually that might happen. So don't get scared if it starts bleeding just a little bit. Keep it up, okay? Floss once a day if you can. And brush twice a day. In the morning when you wake up and at night before you go to bed, okay? It was nice meeting you all. I hope to clean your teeth someday when I am a dental hygienist. Goodbye.